I woke up this morning, right? And I realized I had a conversation with somebody and I realized that I enjoy being the person that I am. Like uh, people that know me, I, I'm bipolar. I have problems in the brain up here, in the little head up there. Don't give a fuck, by the way, just so y'all know. Um, but I used to have problems dealing with that shit, right? I'm Okay, I'm legit. I used to legit have problems dealing with that bipolar shit. My whole life, I've been dealing with it. Like, it's so rough knowing that you thinking other shit that no people not thinking. Like, I know my sister, my brother, were not thinking the things I was fucking thinking. And it was just like, knowing you're not right and not knowing what to do with it. So, I suffered with that shit my whole life. And then we're on top of suffering bipolar. It's like, I'm a rebel. I'm, I can't say the word. It's hard for me to say that word. Rebel, yes. It is okay. So I'm a rebel, right? It was my whole life. I rebel. I rebel for the stupid ass reasons, dumb reasons. And then on top of being a rebel, I had bipolar. You like mixing them both. I don't know if it was part of my bipolar being a rebel. I don't know. But I definitely rebel hardcore. No one could tame me down. Like it was so hard for people to contact me. Like I was so out there, but it was so hard to contact me. Like you just couldn't hold me down. It was crazy. Like you could not tame me. You could not keep me in one spot. And many tried, many failed. And the only reason why I'm tame now is because my kids, my kids tamed me. They kept, kept me, they keep me in one place. So thank God for my babies, all my babies. I love every single one of them. They're my favorite thing in the world. So on top of that, that's how I deal with my bipolar. My babies help me and not, oh, I embrace that shit. Like, like I was getting, I was trying to get into but like I said, my brain be all over the place. I just jumble. I mean, ramble. Normal people won't understand. They just think I'm just talking shit. But if you listen to the things I'm saying, it legit makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense, but in my head, it makes sense. But whatever. I don't care. But and many, maybe a bipolar person who's watching this video, they'd be like, oh, I understand. See, see. I understand. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway. So I embrace that shit. I like the fact that I fucking, I just started to like the fact, like, I'm a down ass bitch. Like I, 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 I take my bipolar shit and I put it in here, right? And this is a circle of my friends, my my man, my everybody, my girl, everything. Everything I love is in that circle, right? Me, that's my, okay, my head. This is my head. I'm telling you what's in my head right now. I'm in my circle, right? And then, being that I'm the person that I am, I don't let nobody else in the circle unless, for some strange reason, they just. They, they got it. I don't know. They just got to strike me the right way. And you got to have aura about you. But anyway, so my whole point is that about that circle is my bipolar shit. I turn it into some, I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm a fucking lunatic. Um, I can fucking, my attitude, my, my temper turns. I, look, I swear to God, no joke. Okay, I'm being mad right, right now. I can be so scared of a fight. Like, I can be ready to fight somebody. Just because I'm having a fucked up day, let's say I'm having a fucked up day, I'm arguing with my man, let's say over some dumb shit, and my level is on from, my level was from this morning to this level now, over an argument I have with my man. So I leave his house, I go on the fucking, the bus, or wherever I go, I bump into a girl, and she's just looking at me some type of way, so I'm gonna fucking, I end up from there to here now, now I'm turned up on this fucking chick I never met in my life. So, meanwhile, I was scared, like, I don't like, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm legit, don't like to fight. I don't like that feeling of my heart feeling like it's about to pop out of my chest. I don't like that feeling. But the fucking bipolar person in me, because I don't know. I don't even know if it's bipolar. That's what the doctor told me when I was a little girl. But I really never got help because I was rebel, a rebellious. Like, I used to shut down on therapists and shit like that. So I don't even know what that shit turned into. It could have turned into something different. But I, I could be so scared of a fucking person. And I'll fucking be like, ha, spit in their face. Like, who does that? Who does that? If you're scared, you usually fold, crumble. You're trying to talk your way out of shit. Not me. I'll spit in your face. I'll push up. I'll punch your mother in her face. I'll fucking kick you. I'll go crazy. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, Jen, what are you doing? Like, you're crazy. Like, you just turned the fuck up on these people. For what? Because they looked at you funny. That's what I'm saying. So, I just compose that shit into the circle right here. And I just keep it very limited of people. That way, I don't have to, I don't find myself out there fighting everybody's battles. Because that's how I get, because I get real protective out over my people. It's like, you can't look at somebody a certain type of way in front of me. If they with me, like, I'm like that. I feel like that. I get very 
I'm very, I'm very protective and I get very jealous easily. So that shit fucks with my head being that I'm, you know, I got problems, whatever. So I just keep my circle small. That way I don't have that many battles. <laughs> That's how I figured out. I'm dead at serious. Like I keep my circle small so I don't have to fight everybody better. Cause if, if my, my circle is this big, that everybody name that everybody wanna look at, you know what I mean? It's just too much, it's too much, it's too much to keep up with. So my circle's very small. I'm gonna fight for my bitches, I'm gonna fight for my man, my family, you know what I mean? So I keep it small. That's how I deal. So that's two. I deal with it. My kids help me maintain that shit. And keeping my circle very small, very small helps me maintain it. Cause not many people if you're not, if you don't understand me and you don't know me from a long time, you're not going to understand me. You're just going to be like, oh, that bitch is crazy. She's rambling. But if you know me from a for real place, you know, you're like, you understand. Or if you're suffering the same shit, I'm suffering it. Okay. So let me tell you that real quick. The only reason why I'm making this video to y'all right now is because that's what I'm going to do. Like if you, there's many people probably just like me, but they just don't have the balls and the courage to go out and put this shit out there because criticism is a motherfucker but like i said i'm my biggest critic so i can give a fuck what y'all think so if i can help anybody out there that's suffering the same thing i'm suffering help them control that shit maintain it embrace it love it you will be normal i swear to god I'm, that's what i'm here for. I'm, that's what i want to do that's what i'm trying to do so that's my whole purpose of this video is i can maybe help somebody contain contain the beast inside them because i swear i'll be feeling like an animal i'm dead serious i'll be feeling like oh my god i'll be bugging for no damn reason like i push everybody away i've chased so many people in my life away because i'd be crazy i'd be bugging i'd be losing it like i'd be losing it i'm so um if maybe i don't know just i don't know i compose that shit with my family and real people that legit love me right now i'm in an area where i'm away from my family i'm away from all my real friends and shit so i'm kind of in a fucked up situation i'm dealing with some new demons that i never that I had to deal with before so it feels like i'm kind of fighting this shit by myself with no companies like i'm doing this shit by myself dolo i don't got no company nobody to i'm i'm a pop i was popular like i had a lot of friends from a lot of friends to no friends dealing with this shit is like a whole new a whole new thing I'm, I'm dealing with so for those who that that do suffer the same thing i suffer with keep your circle small and fucking put yourself around with family and friends like don't feel like having kids is not good for you because maybe it is good for you. I mean, everybody's different, but it was good for me. It saved my fucking life because I suffered. I suffered. I suffered a fucked up life. Like, I had so much. I was my own worst enemy. Like, I didn't have a fucked up life. Like, I made a fucked up life for myself because that's, I'm crazy. So, maybe if I can save y'all from that shit, shit, or y'all can save me, maybe a therapist. So, maybe, you never know. You never know who's watching this video. Maybe I'll get to the right person. Maybe somebody will see it. Maybe I'll help somebody jump, you know. I mean, stay, you know, you, you just never know. You just never know. So, yeah, that's my whole point. Uh, I don't know. I try to, I try to compose that shit. I learn new ways every day. Like, I music, I dance. That's my second way out. My kids love it. They love to see me dancing. They love it. They love it. So, uh, yeah, just put yourself around shit. Like, like I said, I'm dealing with something new now because I have no friends and family right now with me, and I feel like a vulnerable. Like I'm so vulnerable. Like, but that's oh my god, that scares me. But anyway, is what is. Uh, let me wrap up this video. If you don't like me, you don't have to subscribe. If you like me, subscribe to my video. Thumbs up. Leave comments below. Like I said, I'm trying to reach out to those who need help. Maybe y'all can see me. Maybe y'all can tell me. It's not bipolar, bitch. You're crazy. You're just crazy. So I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of this video. I don't even know. I'm going to name, name it. Title it. I don't know. But let's see if it gets out there. Let's see what this video do to people. What type of reactions I get from this shit. Real raw dog. Stephanie. Deuces, you my bitch, holla at me. Like my video, comment to it. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Inspiration, she, that bitch inspired me to do this. She made me feel like I can just be real and not care. Thank you, Steph. Good looking, bitch.